you'll be able to feel with your body, and you'll be able to apply principles correctly to solve your own problems, okay? So starting from there, first thing from God that's very crucial is grip, okay? Controlling the person's upper body. And most of the time you wanna do that. The most common one in competition is just a high collar, and sometimes under one arm, okay, the legs here, okay? This you see more, at a more advanced level, you see the legs start to open up, okay? Sometimes there'll be a little bit more room between the fighters, fighters doing this, and they'll be fighting from all kind of particular angles, okay? What we're gonna start on is what grips are really useful, okay? First grip, this one, particularly when you do this grip, when someone's trying to pull your partner to you, okay, you find that over a while you get one big, one bicep a lot bigger than the other one. <laughs> you have a lopsided body, all right? So from here, what I like to do particularly, you sit up. All right, it's a lot easier, you use your stomach, you know, and then you can start modeling, okay? Just from there, from here, come down. All right, once I come up to this position, I sometimes like to just reach really high. Okay, sometimes I place it over my own shoulder. I reach really high. From here, on this grip, person will want to pass on one side. Okay, he really only has the option to pass on one side. Pretty sure you guys know which side that is, right? On this side, all right? So once he's there, once I'm there, I pay a lot of attention to this leg. On this leg to maintain control of his body. If he does get around this leg, he starts to advance around it. Okay? We'll do that. <laughs> All right? Don't go under the leg. You'll get triangled. All right? If he tries to go under the leg, you back it off, and you move your way into the triangle. All right? Don't go under the leg. <laughs> All right? He's going to try to go over the top of the leg. But a lot of times, that's his best option. But you're ready for him to start moving, because you want some mobility also. All right, because if he's holding you, he ain't going nowhere. Just remember that, he ain't going nowhere. Watch out for the little sneaky games, try to hold me tight, but get over the leg. All right, he can't do it. Because he has to worry also about his center of gravity, so he has to back it up, maintain his balance, all of that while he's trying to pass off of this grip. Okay? So a lot of times, just pay attention to this leg. Up, just turn so you can see. He's gonna try to pass over. If this leg's thick in between, okay, you turn back. All right, you're just do it nice and soft, guys. All right, try to keep your ear to your partner's ear. He goes over. You're waiting for this. All you have to do is sort of like bring your knee to your own nose, okay? If you don't do that, so he will successfully push it down and look where my knee is. It's on the outside. My body straightened out. This is a very bad position. You always want to maintain a little ball, okay? Right here. You'll take the roll and just come over on top. It's a very soft, gentle roll. It takes no effort. Okay, because as long as you stay in the ball, he's gonna try to jump on top of you. When you try to crunch on a little soccer ball, you're gonna roll off. Okay, the same thing. Here, this grip, this grip, come in. All right, when you roll over and you kick him over and don't kick your leg too straight, he's gonna wrap his legs around your leg. Okay, you want it to be free when you come over. Keep it there. See what here? If I straighten it, he'll be able to cross it. So one first thing, I always keep it like this. Try to push my leg back down. Sort of like point your foot up at the ceiling. He can't cross his legs around it. Okay, just sitting. Let's go, guys, with this one, nice and soft. All right. Any questions before we begin? Sure. So, I'm taking my basket. It's strong upper body. If anyone's gonna be able to push down your leg, it should be him. All right. We're even working with this leg. Okay, this leg again, you must keep your head very close. Look how close my knee is to my nose. Okay? Go. 
I didn't even strike the rope. He's falling off by himself. Okay. You gotta keep the technique real smooth, real gentle. All right. He's gonna feel like he was just walking on ice and he fell. Okay. Bring, keep it up close to your nose. Very close to your nose. Up in. Just gotta watch the position very carefully. My leg, I'm not fighting too hard with him. Okay, guys, as long as I keep this up, up here, he's gonna have to, he's gonna have to change his grip on my leg from a pushing. He's gonna have to try to pull it back first. Okay, and then from there we take a different objective. Okay, but if he's trying to push my leg down. Okay, see where I also put my foot? If he does get it, I'm not fighting with him. Let him, let him put it down. Come from here, he's in a bad position. I have good hip control of him. All right? On top of that, as long as I maintain my head very close to him. So, my options are very good in this position. Okay? And that'll be the next part right here. We're going in here. Going up. He's pushing it down. Okay? You keep this arm nice and tight against your ear. And you just push your hand through. Okay? Don't move his hand. All right? Don't push it down. Just, just roll your body. Okay? Because this way, you'll get into the arm bar a lot more naturally. All right? If you're rolling over your torso. So, particularly when you go and move this arm. Okay? Go ahead, here, push him out. Don't push the arm. All right, it's gonna, it's gonna be a heavy arm. All right, from here, you're going. Roll your body through. Then you'll be able to transition to the arm bar a lot easier. But it's not for the arm bar, okay? <laughs> We're still on the rolls. Right here, he's going over. All right, so really quick fluid action, very fluid. All right, guys, you shouldn't feel no gi burn. You shouldn't feel like you have to muscle him over. And right, he shouldn't feel anything. All right, it's just the wood believer. <laughs> All right, over here. Again. Again with this leg. If you find that you're having to use too much strength on this leg, right away start thinking transition. All right, from here, just pushing it down. I just keep my leg very up high. Very up. Sometimes I bring the other one in, protect. Also, now this will go in here. I hook his hip in here. Now when he, he does get around this leg, he gets up to try to pass. He's not getting past this leg. Okay. Alright, so again. Watch my hand go. Roll it through. See how I reach. Okay, you can pop it up. Okay, I keep your pelvis nice and close to him. All right, any questions? Yeah, everyone all right with it? All right, let's go. This, this arm. Again, this knee high, it's pushing over. Push it through. He's gonna feel this arm bar transition. He's gonna pull his arm back. All right. A lot of times, you get to this position. This guy is sometimes so big, you must keep your pelvis very close to him if you're gonna get a roll off. Okay, pull him over. And look where you're rolling. Don't try to look at him, especially with this roll. If you look at the person you're doing this roll, it's gonna come 10 times harder. All right, just come up. All right, look back. Okay, again, don't forget his base. You can still work on his base. All right, coming close, guys. Once we're on this outside position, we know we can roll, okay? But we have a lot of options from here. All right, once I'm in, inside here, I like to take the grip on his collar, okay? So this way I keep his head down, all right? And his arm is always there, all right? From this position, you might want to push his face out on that side, okay? Even if he's up on this knee, all right? Don't push the knee, don't go for the knee right away. 
All right, a lot of times sometimes knee's too close for many people to reach. All right, like tuck that in the right wrist and close wrist so I can't get to it. Take his foot and just lift it out. Right. It works really nice when guard too has a simple kick out. All right, come back up. All right, just keeping him off his base the whole time. When his hands come in, for him to base up. All right, step out. Okay, this leg now moves from this position to here. Okay, this gives you the ability to scoot out. You put this down, and we're scooting out. Right to here. Okay? So from here, in this position, don't forget about his base. Okay? And once he's down there, move his foot to here. All right? So in case, he just, I don't know what happened, he just gets some turbo charge from somewhere and he pops up and he starts to run around me. Oh, go, go. <laughs> this leg to make him come back. <laughs> All right? So just so, if you don't keep this leg here and he runs, he pops up, he's supposed to turbo charge. He's out. All right? So you're keeping this in here. He pushes this leg. Go, 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 go. <laughs> he doesn't know that easily. All right? And you can still get the roll off. This leg in here. All right, don't forget about playing with his face, guys. Getting used to it. From here, I'm keeping this foot right here. Point it down, your hip. Position yourself on this elbow properly so you're comfortable. Okay, like comfortable, all right? From here, nice high grip. Keeping it, man, here. And let's go up. All right, you should be able to flow back and forth in between nicely, okay? Go in here, go, go, go. All right. The cool thing about this is he cannot get a grip on you. See, he's lean, hampering your movement. From here, keeping it down. Position. Right in here. Let's come out. He, he will spin with his tendency to spin to try to beat you to the pass. Okay. What you do, don't race with him. Okay? Go right back in here. In here. And you see how my leg stays pressed up here? Okay, this is guarding against any quick pass you may have or if he wants to come back this direction. Also, keeping my knee up this high, he cannot reach it. Okay? If you keep it down here, his hip might slide over it. Alright, this place will hit my top of my knee. If I'm here, he's passed. I'm in a bad position. Alright. You want to keep yourself driving your hip. And once we reach this position, guys, come here and feel comfortable in this position. All right, have your partner just walk around a few times. And just stay stuck with them. All right? You'll feel that at any time you want, you can fall back to your back and have a nice, secure position. Or when you want to, you really secure the roll. Okay? <coughs> Again, this is you just being very soft. All right, don't mess with the person. Go on. It's in there. <laughs> All right, from here he's gonna push it in, going around. Use that to help you come up. Okay, come from here. Oh, again, I still have this grip here. All right, guys, don't miss this grip. <coughs> Right here, don't miss it. He's going for the pass, turn it over, bring on the inside, watch for that sneaky trick he just pulled. All right, in here, he's going up, and just relax with him. What do you want to do? Step 
out. Okay? Everyone all right? Everyone get to that position of well? Questions, guys? Anyone needs it? Me? Can I see it? So, uh, <laughs> 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 so again, again, make sure you get this arm, your body nice and clear on this side. All right, we really reach for it. He's going around. So do the same thing. Take your time. You see how my head's touching his head? It's become very natural for me to do it. So I'm used to having to be able to smell my partner if I want to. All right, but we're here. I was keeping close. He goes, he's going. Sometimes I let guys almost cross him out me. Go. And I'm taking him over. Not the other way. And they think they're getting the side mount. All right, just I'm keeping this leg so soft. He's not feeling that still there. He doesn't really feel like it's very bothersome to him. But don't try to pry and move your opponent around. Okay, good. Another thing you can do, this leg can still help you. All right, press against his calf. All right. Just pinch it so you can ride. He's going. All right. I still have this grip, all right? As he's coming around. Just maintain control of your leg. Don't, don't fight it. Let him move in position. Okay, here. If you have too much of a stiff leg like this, all right, and he's going. So, you got too much to play, your legs are going to tired. All right, he's going to start changing direction and really kind of do it on the move. Okay, so now you got to keep it really dead loose. All right, so you can get the rules. If you guys want, try closing your eyes on these techniques, all right, because it works a lot better. <laughs> all right, takes time, I know, but he's going. Clear your head out. Once you clear your head out, it's got no chance. If he's trying to come across side, whatever it is you want. <laughs> Alright. Alright, go ahead. Everyone's okay with this previous technique? Get into that position. Alright. Again, if we're going up. Watch this position. If you don't have this foot in, this one pinches this leg. All right? And get your position in. Go across, riding. All right? From here, keeping your head close. Go here. Come across. Grab this wrist. All right? In case he's trying to protect against the choke. All right? That's why I never let go of this grip. I'm ready to choke, like, <laughs> on the dime, man. <laughs> All right? In here, take his wrist, pull him close, and he can roll over. Still keeping that hand in here. All right. Straighten your elbow, and you're ready to take the choke. All right. It's really simple, nice, easy transition. It's going over. Again, even when you grip your partner's wrist, don't grip it hard. Okay? Because I don't feel like the pressure just. Okay, go. Nice and easy. Straighten your back. Push your pelvis into your shoulder. Come in here. Take a lot of slack on this lapel, not too deep. Just push it down straight. Shake it. Okay? If your hand's too deep, guys, this choke will be a little bit hard to get. Alright, so you slide your hand down a few inches and just push your fist on the floor. Take it and complete the chunk. Okay? See how this foot guarding now? Keeping this one just close enough so I get that right through. Yeah. Going through. He's guarding. Uh, over. Take a little towel. Okay. Into a swing. 
and the whole thing shut by. All right. We still got to take back position, so don't forget about that, guys. But we're, we're moving into the submission phase. That's going to help set you up. Okay, because the reason why his arm got caught, because he's defending against a possible choke. All right. And also, with my head up against his, the arm's usually there. All right. I'll just reach across all the side, very sneaky. Take it. And if no one can do this roll, oh boy, I gotta put you guys on weights, man. Alright. <laughs> Give you the hollow leverage on fulcrum in the world. Alright, just pull them over, maintain control. Slide your hand down slightly. Press your fist to the floor and take the choke. How many of you guys are able to follow that? I'll see. Alright, let's get some of the positions. Now, any ideas? Uh, I just have something to add. Like one side, you have to then go down. Uh, then you drift here. And yeah, like this. Oh, yeah, just instead of you, I just. Step that way, go. Oh, okay. Just uh, instead of just like that, instead of just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I was asked that question already. Oh, I'm no, sorry. Yeah, which which way? No, you can do this one or that one. You know, uh, so whichever choke you do best. Is it uh, safe to stay like that if you apply pressure like this? If, if it's what you're good at, you know. I prefer this uh, pelt choke, you know, the very anesthetic and just, you know, very comfortable. And from there, I can easily transition and change my grip, right? Because if I have the lapel grip and I'm choking, you made me break my grip on the choke, I'll switch to the sleeve choke. All right, so that way I just, I'm stepping off into chokes. Time. You've got three different chokes coming at you. <laughs> All right. Rather than um, my 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 idea of choking is when I'm choking, someone's breaking my grip on the choke. Like you try and practice maybe five chokes, five different chokes. All right, cross grip and everything. But when that person breaks your grip, don't try to fight for that same grip. Change the choke. And it's really easy to do. Just changing up the choke. All right. Like an example. I'm here choking through. My hand going here. And he's pushing. Pull this lapel off. Okay. You swear you can change chokes really quick from that being big trouble. Alright, before you know it, you got his head on torque down. Alright. Alright, so like little drills like this, you know, I'm here controlling the position. And he yanks this one out of my head. Go again, break my grip, go on. Change the choke. Alright, he breaks his grip again. Coming through. Alright, and eventually, <coughs> one of them's gonna sink. Yeah. Alright, it's like uh, pulling a penny on the ground every guy choking. Alright, it's the same thing. So, yeah. yeah. And that way, you also save your forearms. Alright, you ever try to hold on to a choke that the guy's pulling? Really stinks, man. <laughs> All right. So we're going here, passing over. We're just checking our way out, kicking out. All right. Everyone should be able to get to their knee if they need to, just by scooting now. All right here, just be on the chill, reach over. All right. Also, by keeping my head close, you see how much reach I got? My right, easy clear. All right, his hand doesn't have to be all the way up here. All right, and also, reach around without killing him. <laughs> okay, instead of coming in, and he's like, whoa, what's that bothering me? All right, just come over, wiggle your fingers here. He's looking at these. <laughs> Take him over. Carry him out so he doesn't go out of bounds. Pull this leg straight. Take it. All right. From here, easy transition. He breaks the grip off the choke. I'm going through on the arm lock, which I know most of you guys probably already have figured out. Okie dokie. So, any questions on the sequence? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Back to the beginning of the sequence. <laughs> okay. We're here. We're moving out. Let it go. And this guy is not letting you 
pass around. And he does this nice sneaky trick. See where his foot is? This is a real sneaky trick. Okay, let's look at the See this. See where his foot is? This is really helpful for him. All right, but don't panic. Just keep this hair against his side. And put this one in. Make sure you keep this in hooked in. You take your time. You relax, let him make his move. All right. Pop your head out. All right. If you cannot get your head out, this is where you're going to come into trouble. Okay, from here. Right here, in this position, keeping this hand away, all right, pushing it back. This leg now comes out. This one coming to a far side. This hand goes in by his hip. You flatten it out, okay? From this position, you're still going to be making this move. Where do I go? What do you want? Excuse me, okay? Take that grip. Just sit in a nice position to really get going. You take your time. Sorry, again. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, here you go. Go, go. You're doing it's all the tricks. You're trying to get your head free. Take your time. Go to that. All right. First of all, remember how it stretches out. On this one from here. This leg, you're doing the scissors under your body. You're doing the back, just turn to your stomach. Ready to relax. Okay, you're coming out. Just to this position, and we're gonna stop there. Okay. Use it in case of emergency. <laughs> All right. I got my foot in here too. I can't get my head free. Alright? You see where this leg is? It's already playing for the free area. Alright? But I'm gonna stick around a little bit longer, see if I get a roll. Alright? Or if I'm able to get a roll. Just come back. And you're very mobile. You're more mobile than you actually think you are. But your hips are so very free. Alright? <coughs> this leg up here, keeping the weight off. All you have to do this one. Scoots. And you come out and you use the grip here on his head to assist your body upward. Alright? It's all one handed, we're going around. I always keep one hand raised with choke. Alright? You catch him in mid flight. Alright? So, okay, guys. You got this leg in here. This one is coming from across. Wherever you had it, bring it out. And just do that. All right. Any questions? I think most of you guys have, you know, followed something similar to that movement. Okay, I just do it now. All right. Just like that. Any questions? Let's go, guys. All right. Here, going over. Take your time. Can't get his arm over. All right. From here, clear it. All right. Take your time. Stepping out to your knees. Okay. Get into here. This time, guys. Go in here, you can't get your arm, can't get it off your head, right? Going from here, coming up, taking this lapel, I mean his hand, not his lapel, with the sleeve right there. Going from there, stepping out, carry on the step up. This leg again, same position. The only thing that's changed, guys, is from the lapel, we're taking this sleeve. Okay? From here, stepping out, this leg keeping this in check. Coming here. And take your dump. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's go. On. Okay. Whatever you do, don't.
don't let him grip your head with this one. All right. And try not to get in a muscle fight. Just lock your elbow. Okay. So from here, you want to give yourself room using this leg. Back and up. This one. Grabbing the pant. I like to grab like this. Okay. Some people go straight for the pants. Or I grab the ankle. All right. Just pull the face out. From here, step to the stomach. Try to point your head into it. And just push them back. I right, take another two base points on that side. All right, by grabbing this leg in here. All right. This technique works well. I got caught by it. I got dumped, right? Just <laughs> like, just go on. Yeah, next thing I knew, I'm really good. I got dumped. <laughs> I got like free travel with air miles, man. All right. <laughs> Watch out. Keeping his weight back, or if the weight's over you, you get a nice clean kataguruma right over to the side. All right, so just watch that option. Nice kataguruma. All right, just coming over. And it should be easy. Don't use your back. Keep your head out. And just tilt him off the side. When you want to push him.